So today I'm reviewing the Spez clip-on mic from Speedlink. So this is a lapel mic, you know, it clips onto your shirt, blazer, whatever, and it's an external microphone, so it should be good for recording. Um, I was a bit keen when this came through the post, so I quickly got it out the wrapping and threw it in the bin. So I can't show you that now, but in the packaging, it wasn't anything special. You got the microphone and then a small manual, which had a lot of obvious stuff in it, like connected to the computer. So as you can see, it's quite a small, compact unit. I do have big hands. Um, yeah, it weighs seven grams, so it's quite light, and you know it's not really a bother to wear. You don't really feel it. Um, it only costs eight pounds, and I guess that is the selling point here. It's a nice, cheap mic, costing only eight pounds. The cable is two point five meters long, so you know that means you won't really like, worry about running out of wire. 2.5 meters is very, very long. One thing I was probably not too happy about was with how thin this wire is. The wire seems a bit flimsy and thin, and in the same way, even the jack doesn't seem too protected. Um, if any of you are watching this video wears earphones, you'll know that now and then you get that problem where the earphones break from the jack and then it stops working on the left side then the right side and then you know it just doesn't work at all so you know uh, that's when it breaks from the jack so I hope this is enough protection here for the jack but like I said yeah it's 2.5 meter cable nice and comfortable so yeah functionality wise it's pretty good and the build quality is good too um, you can attach it to both the left or right side because this microphone is actually removable. I'm going to remove this, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to put it back in. Alright. So there's a the clip. Just a standard clip. Pretty comfortable to wear. There's the microphone itself, and you know, you can put it back in. Like that. Yes, I got it. So yeah, that's the first part of the review, and now we'll go on to the second part of the review. Right, so this part of the video has been recorded on the microphone itself. Uh, the first half was recorded on the inbuilt microphone on my camera. So I should probably point out that I haven't tinkered with any settings here whatsoever. Everything is uh, on the default settings, so the highest sample rate. What else? Uh, microphone boost is not turned on, so that's a function on my motherboard. And yeah, the gain is um, also at its default setting. The only difference I might make is make this louder so that you can actually hear it. Because yeah, that's one problem with this microphone. You will need to make it louder. It's really quiet. I'm not exactly shouting here, but I am speaking loud. Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's fairly decent. There is a problem with noise in the background. But that's probably to do with the fact that I have my PC here that is very loud and I've also got a road here to my left. So even though the windows are closed you can still um, hear the noise which is contributed to by that. But yeah, like I said, um, here's the quality. I think it's pretty good. One thing the website claims um, about this product is that it has noise suppression that's something which I can't really test or prove, so you know, you can make a judgement for yourselves on that. So overall, I'm quite happy with this microphone, you know, for such a cheap price, I think you've got a good deal here, you know. Um, I'm going to use this for my YouTube videos, uh, but the only real problem I see is the noise, but I can probably figure that out post-editing. I might upload a new video with um, a few enhancements done to the microphone and see if it becomes any better. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe.